Hi, my name is Ty Tesman, and today I'm going to do a video about setting gear mesh and how I do it. Uh, so before we get up to the close-up close shot so you can see the gears, um, I'm going to talk about some important things before. Uh, one is loctating your engine and then cleaning your screws. I've done, I've talked about this in different videos, but I'll do it again because it is very important. Uh, make sure you clean your screws with motor spray or some sort of alcohol to get the um, all the oils and stuff that come from the factory off of that, so the Loctite can actually work. And then, if you, if one gear wears out, like say the spur gear wears out faster than the clutch bell, for some reason, whatever it may be, don't just replace one gear. You want to make sure you do both because they do match to each other we're, uh, running in. Um, also, once you build a new car and set your gear mesh, don't just think it'll be good forever if you never take your engine out or do anything to it. It's gonna, they're gonna wear and then they do get a little bit looser, so sometimes you need to adjust it. Um, usually I check, I check my gear mesh pretty much every time uh, before I go out, like to, to do a run. Uh, just because if, it's not gonna hurt you to check it and if something's wrong then you, it's better to find out before you run it. So I'll check mine constantly and I, I do have to reset mine after it's new, probably after the first um, four or five tanks, just to kind of let, after everything's kind of seated into each other, just check it again. Sometimes I have to adjust it, sometimes I don't. So just that's one thing that you want to make sure you're kind of on top of and don't let it get away from you. Okay, so as you can see, um, the motor is flopping around in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get the screws tight enough so that it does it slides, or it doesn't flop around, but yet it slides still. So we'll tighten them up, going to get them snug, and then back them off just a little bit. Do it without all four of them. This is going to hold it a little bit more true when you're trying to fix, set your gear mesh um, to move it over. So then I'll take, I'll go underneath and push it closer to the spur gear. And then what I'm doing is holding the clutch bell and wiggling the spur gear. So I'm going to reach under and grab the, the clutch bell from the bot or from the top, which is underneath right now. And there's no play there. You can hear that. There's no play and it's it's too tight. So you can kind of hear it as well. Make sure those are loose enough. Wiggle the motor over just a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Hold it and check for play. There's more play, but still not quite enough. It's still quite noisy. Um, it's not really a lot of play. So I'm going to move it over some more. And go under and feel it again. And there's some knock there. Hear that knock? It's a lot quieter now. You can roll it. It doesn't really make much sound. It has a little bit of a knock. So then I'm going to go ahead and tighten them up. Careful not to move it. I'm going to go through all four. Just snug them up just so it holds it still while you go to Loctite everything. And then once you do that, I'm going to check it again. Make sure it's good before I Loctite everything in place. I like to do the roll test too just to make sure um, it sounds right and it's not something else isn't misaligned or rubbing or something. So what you're looking for is that little knock there. You hear that knock? And you don't want too much of a knock. You don't want too little of a knock, which is kind of, it's very hard to explain uh, over video especially. But you basically want your stuff to be free without being too loose that it just knocks the tip of the teeth off as you're running. You want to have a good mesh. And then, um, like I said before, you want to make sure you check that because when they do wear together, they might get looser and you might have to readjust it back tighter again. Um, this is also not the same. It's not just one, um, one style knock for every kind of gear. Uh, for 8 scale, it's pretty similar through all the cars. You want a little bit of a knock there, but then as you go to 10 scale cars with a finer pitch, you want less of a less of a knock and less play. And then when you go to even touring car, is even less because their gears are um, the teeth are tighter, so you need less play. But for this one, that's good. And now I'm going to go ahead and lock tight everything. So take each screw out, get some screw glue on a poker, and apply it to the screw, and put it back in. And when these, you want these really tight, like you want to just really crank them down because you do not want your motor moving. I'm going to go get some more screw glue on there, just put a little bit of coating on there. Tighten it down. I've got them all tightened. Make sure all of them are good. 
and then I'm gonna go check again because you want to make sure you don't just slip her over and go on the track and go run and then something's changed. So I'm gonna grab again underneath the clutch bell and I'm gonna wiggle this bird gear. Get a little knock, get a nice roll, and then now I know my gear mesh is set good. Um, some cars, like the older XB8s um, and XT8 had just a round hole in the chassis, which was a little bit more challenging to get the motor straight, but they've now went to slots, which is super easy to get it straight and aligned. So you don't have to really worry about that anymore. But if you have a car that's like that, you want to make sure there's equal gap between everything here. Um, and then if you want, you could even flip it over once you think you got your gear mesh set and make sure the engine is straight to the center diff. Uh, it's just going to make your gears wear better if they're straight rather than being at two different angles. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind if your car's like that. Just keep an eye out for that as well. Okay, that's how I set my gear mesh and the steps I take to do it. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, thanks guys for watching and see you next time.